And also the Quran says that Allah made um, made Adam out of clay, and He okay. breathed into him the life form spirit. Okay. Right. So Jesus does what Allah does. You have to understand Arabic to understand. The, the, what's been revealed by God. You yeah. have to understand it fully. So yeah, but, but, but the people that wrote the English translations yeah, understood yeah. Arabic as well and they wrote what they wrote. Ask, ask her if she would give her nine year old child to Muhammad if she was alive. Well, yeah, would you give your, your nine year old child to Muhammad? Ah, okay. She was ready for she was ready to marry. Here we go. Unless you said At least you're honest. At least you're honest. You would sell out your own child. That some girl had, she was nine or ten exactly. years old. Thank she you, had brother. a baby. So if, if God can will, oh, so if a woman has fed you children, as long as they have babies. He doesn't understand. This he is Jimmy Savile logic. Hello, family. This is your boy JC. Right now, back again at the uh, Open Air Asylum, known as Speaker's Corner. So it's a sunny day in London. As you can see the crowds are just gathering at the moment. Uh, don't see many of the. I see blood fire. Maybe it's got something to say, though. Stilch. So, so English, so English people were taking slaves. So English people were taking taking slaves as girls, yeah. So therefore, your Muslim, your Muslim prophet or your Muslim God had the right to sleep with a nine-year-old girl. Is that the logic we're using right now? But let me show you how this. All right, I'll show you how this. No, no, I want action, gain the narration. I want the book. I want the person. The book is Sahih al Bukhari. Oh my God, brother! Even I can see a book is that book. I need the facts, bro. I'll show you. I'll show you hadith. And I'll embarrass you with your hadith. I cannot. What about God saying to Moses, "Kill everybody and keep"? Are you are you running now? Keep the little girls for you. Oh, fair enough. Ask him about the verse that say where God said to Moses, "Kill everybody and keep the little girls for you." Who didn't know a man? In the Bible, it says to kill everyone, even infants, even babies. Do, do you want to talk about that right now? Or do you want to talk about Hadith? If you want to talk about that right now, we can talk about how your God affirmed those books. Keep the little girls. No, no, no. We can talk about how your God affirmed those books. If you're going to say kill little girls, right? What's the problem with that? No, no, no. What's the problem with that? No, 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 no. No, no. What, what's the problem with that? Kill all children. No, but what is the problem with that? If I can show you from your own hadith, yeah, where Muhammad didn't have a problem with women and children being killed, would you stop that stupid argument? Okay, what about the Bible? God don't have Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you that from the hadith. Why do you have a problem with it? If your God don't have a problem with it. Your God said to Moses, kill all the little boys, but keep the and little... And so did your God. Uh, so why do you have a problem then? So did your God. What are you talking your about? Your God then? literally, in, you? in chapter 5, verses 43 so of 48 so of the Quran. Chapter 5, verses 48 of the Quran. So he says God. that he sent down the Torah and the Gospel. No. What are the Torah and the Gospel? Oh, Those are the books you're quoting. You want to change the topic now? I haven't changed any topic. I'm asking your claims. The Torah and the Gospel were sent down by your God. If they were sent down by your God, then they're inspired. If they're inspired, they were sent down by Allah. So, so Allah ordered those things according no, to your no, beliefs. No, okay. You're your shooting God. yourself in the foot. Next your question. God, no. Your God ordered... What's it, what's it, what's it? Your God next, ordered the Next. Next. <laughs> your, my God ordered it. So did yours. So Chapter the 5, verse 48 of the Quran. Chapter the 5, five verse 48 of the Quran. The gospel you speak of is the same of this Bible today. Your Bible has been changed. My Bible has been changed. Your Bible had to say stoning gay people. Now it says don't touch them. No, it doesn't say that. There we go again. You condemn the action, but you're lying. It doesn't mean I'm lying. Can you actually show me that in the Bible? Or are you just going to keep interpreting what you want? No, no, no. Let's go to Turkey and I'll show you the old Turkey. Why am I going to Turkey, bro? Because the original Bible's there, bro. The what do you mean the original Bible's there? We have the original Bible, bro. The Bible is here. What do you mean the Bible is Latin? The Bible wasn't written originally Latin. It was written in Greek, you idiot. Do you even know what you're talking about? Uh. What was it? Greek. So I'm going to read you this hadith, right? Greek? Because you and him had a problem. Listen to what I'm saying. Are you going to keep talking? Did he speak Greek? Did Jesus speak Greek? Did he speak Aramaic? Are you going to keep talking? Okay. So, so, so Muhammad, yeah? When, when his own men killed, killed, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. When his own men killed women and children, he said, he said to his people, they are from them. I've got it recorded here. So I'm going to read this, right? It is reported on the authority of Saab. So I'm going to read this, yeah? It's reported on the authority of Saab, be Jafama, yeah? This is from Sayyid Bukhari, right? Sayyid Muslim. That the Prophet of Allah, when asked about women and children of the polytheists being killed during the night raid, said, they are from them. 
They are from them. He didn't say it wasn't okay. He didn't say you should have done that. He said they are from them. So please do not attack any morals exactly. in the Christian Bible. Yes. You can't. You can't from any part of the Quran you've got. According to according to my, it's okay to murder women and children as long as they're part of the enemy tribe. As I mentioned before. Make as you like story. I just mentioned the hadith. Do you want to look it up? Do you want to look it up? The no, no, I'll, I'll give you the number here. Well, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the hadith number. You can look up yourself. You can look up the Arabic. Arabic, Arabic. So this is Sahih on Muslim. Yeah, 1745. They're both Sahih. They are both Sahih. They're, no, no, not different. No, no. They are both saw here. You are not Hadith Radar. You do not know what you're talking about. You are not Hadith God Radar. Yes, I do. Sahih means authentic. No. There are different gradients of hadith. No. Authentic is sahih. Mutawata is multiply attested. I know what hadith gradients are. You don't know what you're talking about. Please don't lie to me, bro. Did you take your tablet today or not No, no, your, your, your wife gave me the tablets and I gave them back to her. Imagine, in, in, in fact, see what, see what we're doing now. We're insulting because we don't have an argument. This is what Muslims do. Okay, tell us something about the sexual You can't, can you defend what your God just did though? Can you defend what your Prophet just did though? Tell me what the sexual things are in the Torah, in the Samuel. Say that again, I don't know what the Torah, in the Old Testament, what are the sexual things in the Samuel? The sexual things in the Torah, I don't know what you're talking about. You'd, you'd have to bring up a verse. You read the Torah. No, you'd have to bring up, you'd have to bring up a verse. You can't just make up stuff. I could say, oh, look, look at the sexual things in the Quran. Right. Yes, lady. Where is the sexual Quran? Say them. Got the Quran here. Show me what is written in the Quran about killing and murdering. Oh, you, you want to know about the killing and murdering? Yeah, yeah, right. I challenge you with this. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. Quran. Don't bring me said that said this said. No, I need the Quran. I'm, I'm bringing up the Quran. Look, this is the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do, you, uh, do you want me to bring up the Quran? No, I'm bring up the Quran. I don't mind. I'm with you here until tomorrow morning. Okay, so. Um, Show me a evidence. We'll go to, to chapter 9, verse 5 of the Quran first. Which one? Chapter 9, verse 5 of the Quran first. That's where I'm going first. Well, I don't understand anything from you. It's got Surah and name. Do you not understand English? No, 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 no. Your English is absolutely funny like you. Which Surah here? See? That's funny because your prophet was funnier than me. He thought it was okay to have sex with kids. So go on. Can you talk or you yap? Yap as much as you can. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to read you this. And then I'll read you other had and other read, Quran passages where your own God calls for the killing which one? of Jews and Christians. Which one? Let's go. Which one? Which one? What the number of the surah? What the number of the chapter? Do you not see him trying to get up? What the number of the surah? The number of the surah is chapter nine of the Quran. Chapter nine. I, I of the just Quran. literally said that. Okay, you need wait, to get your ears wait, tested, old man. Toba. They yeah. name at Toba, yeah. Yeah. And where? Which okay, 929 first of all. Let me go 929 and I'll go back to 95. 929. Yeah. Where is 929? We're doing where is 929? Here. Verse here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, this is the way it says. It says, fight, and this is Yusuf Ali's translation. I don't care what translation you believe. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last name, nor, nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden which has been forbidden. By Allah, it's saying what I like. I'm not Yusuf Ali. As you like. I don't yeah. ever be called Yusuf Ali. I'm Here. not Arab. Here, I'm Arab. What, you're Arab, I so you've read that. So, so hold on, read, read what the verse say. What does the verse say? It says, "Fight those who do not, who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that fi forbidden which have been forbidden by Allah and His Messenger, nor acknowledge the religion of truth, even if they are of the people of the book." So you're, you're commanded, even to the you last day, to so fight the people of the book. What you said now is incorrect. What do you mean it's incorrect? Correct. I've read Yusuf Ali's translation. Do you want me to get more translation? Yeah. We've got another one, Musin Khan, who says this. Really, really this is like. Musin Khan, yeah? Well, fight those... Straight away from the Quran to the Musin Khan. And now he's going to jump... This is a translation of the Quran. Henry VIII. You know Henry VIII? This is a translation of the Quran. No, no, Henry VIII. Tell me Henry VIII what he said about so, it. So wait, wait. Henry VIII was a translator of the Quran. What he said? It's Henry VIII to translate the Quran. Yeah, because you bring the name. Oh, he is. He is. He's a translator of the Quran according no, to this book. No, I didn't know that. I, I honestly didn't know that Henry VIII was a because translator Henry of the Quran. Ain't the one he wrote said, the book. He the said, I know you are the priest. Jesus, this is not your business. I change as I like. They follow him. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What do you say? 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 What do
why he did to the church. Henry VIII? Why he did this debate wasn't even about Henry VIII. Yes. I, I don't know what we're talking about right now. They ain't going to do that now. They ain't going to do that right now. They ain't going to do that right now. I don't know what's going on. The guy's peaced out. The guy's peaced out because he got refuted. On so many levels. Who's a Muslim in this group? Who's a Muslim here? Anybody else want to get refuted? Do you think he's lying about Sahih al Bukhari and what it says uh, about in Sahih al Bukhari? Do you think he's yes. lying or do you think he's well, like taking it out of context? Hadith are lying. He's taking it out of context. You need to understand the Arabic before you can actually interpret it. There was a translator who wrote the Arabic, so that's a dumb argument. There was a translator who wrote the Arabic, bro. You do realise that. This was, Muslim translators wrote, wrote the translation of the Quran and the Arabic there. You mean the translation? Yeah, they wrote it. Not, not just the translation as well, but they wrote the actual translation of it as well. So they, they, so Muslims, according to Sunnah.com, right? They're the ones who actually translated it. According to Dura Salim as well, they're the ones who translated. So unless you actually know the original language, it doesn't translate perfectly. Does that well, make sense? Yeah. That, that was the, the language that God revealed it in. So you have to learn that language to know what God is actually. I 100 percent agree with you. There are things that can be lost in translation, but the problem is, bro, if we're going to use the argument, then how can we even trust any translation of the Quran in? In yeah, any like situation, you can't. Really you can't. It yeah, and, 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 and the other thing is, we have to be Arabic to even understand your God, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, With the Bible, the at Bible least. Was what, yeah, yeah it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't It wasn't revealed. We don't believe in that kind of. There was a revelation process, but it's not the same as your revelation. It wasn't so sent was down on tablets. It, wasn't revealed. It, was, it was revelation sent through inspired apostles. Right, but, right. but you don't believe it? in that. What language was the revelation in originally? Right, so there's, no, it weren't just Latin, it was Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Right. Because we have the Septuagint that was written in Greek, right? We have the Hebrew, that's Old Testament that was written in Greek. You don't believe that, you need to understand those three languages. To we, we don't need to because it can be translated by the people who know of the language, know of the, know of the, know of the, the traditions as well. Apply the same logic, you apply different logic. No, I know you apply the same, different logic. The problem is, even a translation himself, like Yusuf Ali, for example, Halalian Khan, these are people who are Muslim themselves and they were scholars. They, unless you're assuming that they would want to exploit their own word and, and misinterpret things, that's fine. But the problem is, they're the ones interpreting these things. No, but I'm just saying right? you as a man... As, as Muslims. As, person, as Muslims. Yeah? They're the ones writing down these translations. In Arabic, so for you to understand it properly, you have to understand it. That's what right, right. And that's your opinion. That's your opinion, bro. But the thing is, these were Muslim translators, Muslim scholars, who knew more about Islam than you did. I, I, I'm just going to put it there, because you're not a scholar. You, had, you didn't go to university with Medina. I'm assuming that anyway. I don't, I don't want to assume. You didn't go to university with Medina. These people did. Yusuf Ali did. Right? Hilarian Khan, I don't think he did, I don't know whether he did. Even people like Arbery, for example. Dr. Arbery went to, went to um, Medina University. Yeah? So these people actually went and studied the Quran. They know exactly how it's written and how it's read. So for them to be the ones that are translated, you, you didn't understand it because you don't understand Arabic. But uh, the so fact is, the fact that I don't under God, understand Arabic doesn't mean the translation are wrong. There may be interpolations made in the translation, but that does not mean the translation is wrong because these were Muslim scholars who wrote this down. It wasn't me, I didn't write down the translations, it was Muslim scholars. So ultimately, your argument, yeah, I'm relying on Islamic scholars because they're the scholars you believe in. Just like you would, you as a Muslim, are you Sunni or Shia? Oh, okay. So you as a Sunni, Sunni would rely on Hadith, right? Or you'd rely on Tafsir, right? These are scholars. These are people who have studied the Quran. I understand. So I'm, I'm, I'm just doing what you're doing. Things. Hadith and Sunnah is what you can adhere to, to to understand your religion. Yeah? We can look at different books and different scholars and things like that. But the original point that me and you was, was discussing was the fact that the Bible, you didn't want to say it was revealed, you said revelation. No, no, I, I said it was yeah. it was the revealed by inspired. Language. Listen to what I'm saying. I said, because I want, I want you to understand was, what it said. English, it was correct? revealed by yeah, 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 inspired yeah. apostles. Okay, when no people wrote it down, they translated it. No they knew of the traditions. No they obviously memorized the traditions. They knew so, what it was saying. so when we when we come this with this stupid sorry foolish argument that the Arabic is special and nobody can really understand the Quran, I'm sorry, people Muslims were the it. ones Muslims were the ones that translate the Quran. And even even Muslims like yourself, do you know a Christian prince? A Christian prince. Christian prince, we heard of him at all. No, no, no. Okay, so he's he's Arabic, he's an Arabic Christian, right? Mm. So he knows Arabic. And he, he would agree with me with some of the things that I've said in the Quran. If, for example, Surah 64.5 and other, other stuff like that. He would agree that what it's saying is young women. Mm. You wouldn't you wouldn't agree with that because you'll go to that. So you wouldn't agree that 65-4 is saying young women in, in regards to those who, are, who, are, who would be the forced? What do you mean young women? What are you talking about? So I'll, I'll get the verse up. So we're jumping from something else to this. No, no, my, 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 my original point was that basically 
it, like, the Arabic is not special. It's yeah, not yeah, some yeah. special magical language that nobody can interpret. It. If it was, they wouldn't have interpreted themselves. I'm really down. These are scholars. You lot are not scholars. Brother, nobody in this park is scholars. the same point as me. You have to understand Arabic to understand the, 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 what's been revealed by God. You yeah. have to understand it fully. Understand yeah, but, but, but the people that wrote the English translations yeah, understood yeah. Arabic as well and they wrote what they wrote. Yeah, yeah. But the that's point you're my trying point. to make is young women. That's, that's a wordage. That's, um, Young women is that isn't just a word. Al Wahadi, for example, have you heard of Al Wahadi? I've heard of Al Wahadi. Yeah, Al Wahadi said that's young girls. Yeah, so he interpreted that, what, that as young girls. Ibn Kafir, Ibn Kafir translated as young women as well. Mm -hmm. the, the point I was trying to make, the point I was trying to make is that verse shows us that according to Quran, you can divorce little women or little girls. You can divorce them. You yeah, you can divorce little girls, which you means can obviously them, you can marry them. You can divorce them. Well, you can divorce them. That's what it says. So it's, ob it's obviously interpreted just like yeah, you, you may be able to marry them as well because yeah. it makes sense. Why are you divorcing little women if you can't you can't marry them? It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. But that's what the verse is saying, and that's what well, I, what Hadi is saying Arabic as well. Yourself. And Ibn it be, it be Kathir is saying on as well. Again, as I've said, I'm relying on your scholars who know more than you do, mm. who have written English translations, mm -hmm. and the English translation they've written yeah. is what they but know. So what you're what you're basically Christian prince. No, but what you're saying, what you're basically saying to me is Ibn Kafir is a liar. Your scholars are all liars. We cannot trust anybody who ever wrote a Quran because they're also lies unless we know, you know Arabic. This is a pretty stupid argument. No, but that's your belief. No, no offense, no offense, uncle. No offense, but that is your belief. That is not the, that is not the fact. That is not common. That's your, your belief. Anybody can claim that old. Well, they're, they're lies and I don't care about it. It's not an argument. But Christians used to do it as well in the um, Shakespearean era. They used to marry little kids. Uh, they used to marry little kids. Yeah, not little kids, but. You know, right, well, my, my, first of all, my, my religion is not based off of somebody's Christian belief. I, my belief first of all, I, you're, you're speaking to. You're not speaking to a Roman Catholic. I mean, you just stop you there. You're not speaking to a Roman Catholic. And again, that, that's a whole other thing you need to take up with Catholics, not with me. <laughs> but the fact is. You don't know what Catholics? No, he said Catholics. No, I, I said like, I, I was showing him what denomination I believe in because I don't, I don't believe in certain denominations. Right? But the fact, the fact is, whether whether or not that happens, yeah, I'm not condoning it. What I'm saying is, your prophet is supposed to be the best example for mankind. Those Christians are not the best example for mankind. We don't believe in those Christians. We don't worship those Christians as God or Lord. But you, your Quran also says as well. Wasn't it? Your Quran also says that Muhammad is the, is, is the greatest prophet. He's the greatest prophet. He's the final prophet. Okay, he's the final prophet. So if he is, his behaviours, morals would match that, but they don't. Why? 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 Because he slept with a nine-year-old girl, as I just said. How we know he slept with? I've, 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 read, I've read the hadith. Do you want me to read it again? Even though that charge is allowed, you know the new rule that 11 years old she can have sex now. I don't, I don't remember that law. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. He's allowed. Yeah, he's allowed now. I, I don't know what I, I don't know what he's talking about. Charge doesn't have. It doesn't say anything about it. So, the church doesn't say anything about it. Does the church That's say like anything about that? No, 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 it doesn't say anything yeah. about that. No, you don't know. But my religion is not based on the church. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, not, you're not understanding what I believe. So let, let me, listen, one minute, sister. One minute, sister. One minute. Let me just, let me just explain to you what I believe. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, No, it's not a Christian country, it's atheist secular country. We've moved on from that Christian program for a long time. It's not a Christian country. No, it isn't. So what is it? What do you call it? The, the, the atheist population in this country is actually growing. When you go to and court, the, the, you the, the court, political what happens? You put your hand on the Bible. No, 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 you can, no, no, hold on, listen. You, you, can put your, you can put your hand on anything you believe you can in. Choose if, yeah, yeah, you can choose now. now can. Because we're no longer a Christian country. No way. That's the fact. I keep saying that. But that's still not an argument. That's still not an argument. My argument is that your prophet, who's supposed to be the best example for mankind, Slept with a nine year old My best example is not other Christians. So, My best example is Jesus Christ, so, who said, Love thy neighbor as thyself and love thy God with all thy heart. So I don't know where this argument is coming from. It's a dumb so argument, bro. You're calling up a pedo. Let's make but a what difference. Let's make a no, he is a pedo. It's 1400 years ago. Today, today is uh, 100 years ago. The kings were raping 13 years ago. 100 years ago. Right, that, that, what I'm saying, it doesn't make it right. Country is kings I'm, no, you're, you're not hearing what I'm saying. I don't condone that. You can't compare. You're not hearing what I'm saying? I don't condone that. My argument is, is that support your prophet, your prophet is supposed to be the best example for mankind for all times. I'm not comparing anything. Your prophet is supposedly sent from God, correct? Your prophet was, prof it was supposedly sent from God, correct? So he was sent from God. So, so God ordained this man to come out and to preach his words, the Quran, correct? Right. 
Did, so show, show me where in anywhere in Christian history where any any of these paedophiles, whether it be in Roman Catholic Church or whether it be in Protestant churches, show me where any of these people was were were touted as messiahs who gave prophecy. Show me that. Your churches today are raping little kids. Your churches today. What do you mean my churches? Show one church. 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 Again, you're making up interpretations. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me give up facts. The fact is, you worship, you honor, you honor, and you pay five times a day to a man who has sex with a nine-year-old girl. You're not understanding the point I'm making. You're understanding this is supposed to be when a woman. This is supposed to be the best example for mankind. This is supposed to be the best one now, and this is what you guys are still doing. That's the point. Again, nobody was having sex with children. Back, no, back during the time of Muhammad, talking. it wasn't a widespread Robert's thing where people just dying around marrying children. It wasn't, well, and you can't Africa. show that it's not African. They were married a girl seven years, not even nine years. Right. Seven years. Are those, are those years, African? Are those African Jesus Christ? African were a Christian. You're not hearing what I'm saying. We yeah, believe, we believe as Christians that Jesus Christ is the best example for Christians. Well, Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ never had sex I mean, with God. any nine-year-old girls. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying he's God. What I'm saying is that the Quran says that he's the best example for mankind. So if he's a perfect man, why is he doing imperfect things like having sex with children? Okay. What he's done, he's done nothing imperfect. No, but the Quran's saying, the, the Quran's saying he's the best example yeah, but, for mankind. Yeah, but brother, you're a Christian, I'm a Muslim. So what I'm telling you, he's a perfect man. Well, everything he did was, was perfect. If everything he did was perfect, then having sex with a nine-year-old girl is perfect. If everything he did was perfect, then having sex with a nine-year-old girl is perfect. He was married to a girl called Aisha. What we're trying to explain to you in history, when a woman passes, she becomes a woman. She's mentally now we live in 2021. Right. The brother said to you, nowadays Christians are doing this in churches Hundreds and pedophiles and things. Here's where it gets yeah. worse. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Let, let, let's, let's, let's be fair. Yeah? Here's where it gets worse. Right? Because Aisha wasn't an adult, nor did she receive puberty at age of six. Yet your prophet married her. Why did he marry her? Imagine. They waited six to nine. They waited. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not getting what I'm saying. Why did your Why did Muhammad marry a six-year-old girl? Bear in mind, she wasn't past the period. She wasn't even in the age of puberty. No, he didn't marry she her six, six years, old. years old. No, no, he didn't. She was he six years old. Nine. No, no, she, I, I, no. I can read the hadith. He, he I'll, I'll, read the hadith. I'll read the hadith. I'll read the hadith. She was six years old. Do you want me to show you, or no, you're just going to no, talk to him? You can talk to him if you want. I don't mind. Yeah, when then you when you consummate a marriage, it's different to when you you get married. You only you would only marry somebody to have sex with more fornicators. Is that your mind? That's not my mind. That's how the Christian church views it. If you look in the Bible, it says, even Paul says, yeah, if you're burning with lust, then you need to marry. So you do not commit sin. Marriage is the, is the, is basically union between two people who become one flesh. That's what it says in Genesis 2, right? Two, two persons become one flesh, right? You wouldn't marry somebody unless you were going to come one flesh from, unless you're going to grow a family with them. So it was Muhammad's intention, when Aisha was six, to marry that girl in full intention that he wanted to sleep with her. She was six years old. You're, you're basing your intention on, I'm on not that's profit. That's what you're I, I'm really not basing my intention. You're, you're, what you said was you don't marry someone unless you want to have sex with them. It's, it's, no, no, I'm just saying that's what your is, words. Remember, Aisha was six, correct? That's what the hadith said. The hadith said Aisha was six years old. The only reason why you marry somebody is to become human, become one, one flesh with one person, to share the rest of your life with them, correct? Am I lying? Am I, am I right? Yeah, you're basically on, on, on Christian The reason why, even in the 7th century, it's not Christian theology. Even in the 7th century, even before the 7th century, people married to be in a union with a man and wife. That's why they married to share that union, this, this to grow a family, right? Yeah. Muhammad, your prophet, had the intention of marrying a six-year-old girl before so, she was an adult. No, right, so, no, so let's talk contemporary In full intention contemporary that he was going to sleep with let's her. He knew this as well. So saying that she okay, waited no, 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 three or four one years one does not yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. does yeah. not matter. Just wait one second. Exactly. My, my point, my point is, auntie, my point, listen to what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. My point is, if you're going to marry a six-year-old girl, you're having in your mind the intention that you want to sleep with her. There is no just for that, yes, and you, you cannot find you me one. Two centuries, and you teach us about religion. Being given from her father two prophets at six, but he had a six with her when she was nine. Make sure six. Did she have? Did she have the idea of what marriage was? Our culture, right? Oh, it's your culture. So it's okay as long as it's your culture, correct? Yeah. Okay. It's okay to marry kids as long as it's your culture. Do you agree with her? Let me ask you a question. Now. Let's be contemporary. At nine years old, what age would be appropriate in that time for you? What, what's your opinion? What do you mean? Years old, eleven years old. 12 years old, 8 years old, which is I'm, the age that's I'm saying, given that's the age gap, I'm saying, given the age gap, I, 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 I
Aisha should not have been married to a 52-year-old man when she was six. Forget about the whole nine thing, that's later when she consummated, when they consummated marriage. I'm talking about six-year-old girl, bro, marrying a, a, a um, 52-year-old man, right? Yeah. Do you do realise that in she, the olden days? Listen to what I'm saying. She would not have been of the mindset you a woman. to want to marry you a 52-year-old Bedouin to, to a man. She was that's six. how it goes. She, she would not have wanted to marry that a 52-year-old Bedouin. In, in your she culture, she was six. Use your logic. Be honest. She was six. What six-year-old girl do you know that wants to marry a 52-year-old man? She was happy with him, what's bothering you? Be, be honest with me. She's happy. What? I, I, she I'm happy. trying to be honest with me. She was happy with bothering she was, you. She was happy with Yeah, tell Listen, me what she's happy with. I can say to you, Allah knows best, but she you're she not a Muslim. She was happy. She, she, she wasn't even an adult. She wasn't an adult. She wasn't happy. She, she was, happy. was, she was six years old. Six year olds don't know how to contemplate marriage. Six year olds are not ready for sex. But you're believing that it's okay to do those things. It's disgusting. What's bothering you? What do you mean, what's bothering me? I have common sense. As the Bible says, love your neighbor with all your heart and all your soul. I love my neighbor. I wouldn't have sex with my neighbor's love child. You're gonna love. When she grown, when she grown, she was happy with him. She didn't say anything against him. She didn't that's claim. not an argument. What's bothering you? That's not an argument. What's bothering you? My, my, what's bothering me is you're claiming that this man is the best example for mankind. The best example for you, the best example for him, the best example for me. But I am better than him because I would not have sex with a nine-year-old girl. But you're applying, you're applying modern secular standards of this country. I'm not. If you look back at 7th century standards, Nowhere do we find people in mass marrying yeah, six-year-old girls. What, what are you Can you show me that? What are you basically History. Saying? The onus is on you to bring even, evidence even, to Even, let's, let's say Judeo-Christian issue. Let's it's say Judeo-Christian issue, for example. Now. So it, what would happen is they would get, they would have a bar mitzvah and a man would become, a, well, a boy would become a man about 13 years old. What? About 13 years old, they'd be married to somebody around their age, so 13, 14 or 12. Right, around that age, so it'd be another girl, like 12, 13. Yeah. They would be close, closely, right, so it'd be close, in a sense. They'll be closely, um, in age-wise, right? Nowhere do we see a 53-year-old man marrying six-year-old girls so your argument during is, your time. So your argument your own is tradition. the age that a Jew becomes a man, you're basing this on our prophet it's marrying okay to have a six, one of but you I'm have saying that was common. What, what I'm trying to say, yeah. it was common, more common, for people to marry within their age group at that time yeah. than people to marry outside so their age group, age group, especially right? from the extreme age. This is what I'm saying. So is Espe it the age of the prophet that bothers especially you from, the Especially that from yeah, the extreme age. From it's both. It's both. It's both. It's both. Because the age Aisha was, she was not ready to comprehend marrying a, a, a 53 year old man. She didn't know one. How do you know this? Exactly. I know, know this because six year old girls, if you look at any six year old girl psychologically, she's not out there trying to get herself a man and trying to get her did. That's the, what, what, what is this? Bro? But only, only our God knows what, what he put into but her. But your God saying that, that this man, knowledge this, that he put Bedouin, into her. Don't know. this Bedouin, this Bedouin has sex with her. What do you mean we don't know? Do you understand? You know, you know the, the body doesn't fully, fully develop until 25, right? But did he cost me her six? So no one should get married until 25 then? No, 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 I'm not so saying. what's your point? My, my point is nobody should marry at six. That's my point. Because the so body, it, is, literally, is irrelevant then. the woman just came out of the cradle. The, the girl just came out of the yeah. cradle, and right? You waited and your prophet she said, a woman. Your pro no, 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 no. He did not wait until she became a woman. He waited until, until she was nine. That's not a woman. What age is a full woman? Yeah. Yeah. Around, the, around the age of 16, I would say. Around the age of 16, she get married. That's no, I'm now. not saying that's you should. That's not my point. My argument is, my argument is, no, no, my argument is, I'm arguing, my argument is, is that at six, that's fine, you want to talk about me, you can talk to yourself. But at six years old, right, no six-year-old no six girl wants to or is ready to have sex with a grown man. The only reason why you're marrying somebody is to consummate marriage with them. That's the only reason, you're, you're, and to build a family. People get married for and to build a lots of different reasons. So people just get married to stare at each other? People get married for lots of reasons. No, no, hold on, and people get married to stare at each other? For tribal reasons. To strengthen the family, to strengthen two families. Yeah. Right. For, for her to be right. married to but, a prophet. But, but when, when they would get married, when they would get married, anyway. would they the consummate that marriage? Anyway. When, 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 when a man marries a, a woman, when a man marries a woman, when a man marries a woman, what is the intention? Use your brain. What is the intention? When a man marries a woman, what is the intention to have sex with her? So what your prophet did essentially was marry if, if, if a six-year-old girl. Your intention for getting married, that's you. you no, what man. your prophet did what man? was to what have man sex. Are you talking about? What do you mean? What man am I talking about? You say when a man married, his intention is to have sex. No, one man. I'm saying the majority of men. Huh? When you when you the meet majority when you, the yeah, majority of men. Listen to what I'm saying. Every man. The majority of men in this country. Yeah? In this country. If they meet a woman, let's say you're out at the cafe or something. You meet a woman, for example. It doesn't matter all the time. I just mentioned earlier. As I just noticed the interruption. Notice the interruption. 
most important. As I mentioned earlier, that at the time of his prophet, at the time of the seventh century, they were not en masse marrying six-year-old girls. That's not historically recorded. Nobody did that. How do I know that? Because of the Jewish customs at that time. How do I know that? Because of the customs at that time. They were not marrying young. I don't have to read the Quran okay. for that. So, and it's not even in the Quran, I'm talking about okay. Sayyid Adif. So, does, does it matter to you that Aisha was pledged to be married before? Say again. Before the Prophet. So, so, does so, it matter to you that Aisha was offered to be married before the Prophet? It matters to me because she was sick. No, she did no, not. No, asking, listen to what I'm saying. I'm listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, you understand that it matters because she was six me, years old. She was not cognitively ready to sleep with a man, yeah, nor to even want later. to consent to marriage. Yes. There's a reason why the laws in this country are the way they just are. Second, There's a reason why you have to be married at a certain age. And there was, was a big man. age difference a pure between man. 53 in every way. and 6 so all of his intentions were not untowards. You're just saying it's perfect. That's what I believe. You're going to tell me that Jesus is God. You believe that a man that's left for nine will child is perfect. You will not make me believe that. What happened with him? What's my brother? What do you mean what's problem? Did you not hear what I just said? What's, What's bothering bother me is what should bother any of you. It doesn't, unfortunately. Now, I don't know why. But it bothers me. When I see, when I, when I hear in your traditions that a 53-year-old man who, who was grown, who was grown enough to know right or from wrong, slept with a nine-year-old girl. That bothers me. It bothers me that this man married a six-year-old girl. That bothers me because marriage entitles sex. It's just, it's just equal to that. It's just equal to that. It entitles that. It's a problem, yeah? Ask her if she would give her nine-year-old child to Mohammed if she was alive. Yeah, would you give your nine-year-old child to Mohammed? What's wrong with you? She's ready for marriage. Here we go. At least you're honest. At least you're honest. You would sell out your own child. I mean, do you have children? No, tell me if you have children. No, no, just ask a question. Do you have children? Let me ask yours. Do you have what children? Does about I mean, I feel sorry for you. Have children. See, he's run away. You're a player, foolish standard. I'm running. There, there's, no stand, there's no foolish standards. You do. I'm better than your prophet. You're because not. I don't want to have sex with a nine-year-old child. I don't want to marry a six-year-old child. So I'm better than your prophet. I'm way better than him. Yeah, you are. I can see you. But you lot are claiming that he's the best example for mankind. But I'm better than him. So I must be what? better than the best example for mankind. Because I'm sex with an nine-year-old girl. You're better than him. What's have you had sex with an nine-year-old girl? You're mentally deranged. No, I'm mentally deranged. I'm not Mohammed, mate. Yeah, I know it's how. No, it's that at home with him. They've got no argument. They can't defend their proper freedom. You're not better than him. You're the same as him. You can't defend your proper freedom. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Which is sad, but I know it's because you can't. Tell me one thing. What are you better than him? What are you better than him? Having a sex with a nine-year-old girl and having married a six-year-old girl. Well, we know that you didn't have it. So I'm betting your property. How we know you didn't have it? That's your problem. That's your problem. What do you mean the law said I can't? Do you know how much paedophiles were in this country? It doesn't make you better. Oh, but using that logic, you know how much paedophiles in this country? It does make you better. Because I'm not the one, I'm not the one claiming to be the best example for all mankind. Muhammad is. You're not getting what I'm saying. You need to listen to what I'm saying. I'm not the one claiming to be a prophet from God. I'm not the one claiming to be the best example for all Muslims. Muhammad is. And if Muhammad's going to claim that, he's going to have to show and prove. And what he's shown us so far is that he's, he's allowed to sleep with a nine-year-old girl. He was the perfect he man. He was the perfect he example, was the perfect he example was for mankind. He was pure well, in every sense of the word pure. I call so this guy is pure to sleep with a nine-year-old girl. No, there was no ah, bad pure. intention pure. in what he did. Do you understand? There was no bad intention in what he did. There was no bad intention. And that's what we believe. Would you say that to Jimmy Savile? There, there's no there's no bad intention. I just went to the hospital and fondled some kids. There's no bad intention. Let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. In the news, I was reading the news today, and it was talking about the, the Christians burying thousands and thousands of native mm -hmm. Canadian kids in, right. in Canada. Now they molested them and they killed them and they put them in mass graves and they found them now. They found three mass graves and this was done in your. Well, first of all, I don't know what news site what? you got that from. No, I don't. I'm just, I don't know what you're talking about. You just come to me and said, "Oh, by the way, in the news, some Christians no, no, no. killed some people." No, no, no. That's, this is, a, that's, this a, that's, is, that's not an argument. This is, century, this this is your people. people. But they're not the best example for me. They Are you not understanding what I'm saying? My best example is Jesus Christ, the same God who came to earth who said, "Love thy neighbor with all thy heart and love thy God with all." Heart and all that mind, all that soul. That's who I follow. That's who I believe is the best example for me. The one who said those things, Jesus Christ, not any other Christians. So every time you Muslims bring other Christians to me, I'm just going to nod them off. I'm just going to go like, no. Are you talking about nod it off, bro? <laughs> Are you about the same God you what, what God did I kill? Where did I kill God? Yeah, we killed, Jesus. Yeah. Where, where did I kill Jesus? The same God. Where did, no, where, where did I kill Jesus? No, 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 no. Where did I kill Jesus? 
The same God you killed. No, wait, wait. Show me where. Let, let, let me see proof of me who, killing who, who Jesus. Jesus. But your God is killable anyway, for a start. My God is killable. You don't even know what God is. Okay. That's the cross. Yeah, I believe Jesus died on the cross. But I don't believe that I killed him, bro. That's a lie. I don't. I think you should go away. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, show and proof, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. Did I kill him on the cross? The same God you killed on the cross. Did I kill him on the cross? The same God you You're so stupid, boy. It's your belief. It's your belief. It's your belief. It's your belief. Well, what, 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 obviously, why me? Because I wasn't alive 2,000 years ago, you do, do. Okay. Which group of people? No, but you know, at the same time, how's the life lost between Muhammad and Aisha? Which you don't live that time. What I've just said, you're not hearing what I'm saying. I've just said. She your prophet is claiming to be the best business. example for business. all mankind. Him, 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 the best example. So the best Shabby. example for all mankind had sex with a nine-year-old girl, married a six-year-old girl, and we're supposed to leave, believe that his man is perfect? She was happy. I'm sorry. She was happy. What bother you? What bother you? She was happy. Tell me what bother She was happy. Yeah, she was happy till he died. She never complained. There's no one hadith. There's no tafsir. And that Bukhari and Muslim. What do you mean what something just what you know? There was a record set for a baby exactly. that was that some girl had, she was nine or ten exactly. years old, Thank she you, had brother. a baby. So if, if God can will, oh, so it's a way to have your children no, no, as long as they have babies. No, my friend, there you go, look. He doesn't understand. This he is Jimmy Savile logic. Jimmy Savile logic right here. You heard it here first. Jimmy Savile logic, bro. Jimmy Savile logic. Hashtag Jimmy Savile logic, bro. Stay away, go talk about your sexual life. It's not your business, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Life. He was happy till he died. Talk about. If you yours. want to believe that, that's fine. Tell about yours. I'm going to have I don't believe it's the best example of mankind, yours. and I'm sure anybody with sense in this car right now doesn't believe you that it's the best example of mankind. Why you pray to the Father? Why you pray to the Son? Even the age is disputed. The age, the age is not, the age is not disputed amongst the Sunni Hadith. The Sunni Hadith are Sahih. Sahih means ha Sahih means authentic. So nobody's disputing it. You're the only one disputing it right now. So you're outside your own tradition. What about everything else that's confirmed about you? How do you talk about that? You're talking just you're talking about something that's disputed. No, no, you believe it's a perfect man. I've just showed you ain't. I showed you I'm more perfect than your prophet. That's not my opinion. My opinion. It's called logic, man. Have you tried it? That's disputed, right? Have you tried logic? It's called logic. No, but well, your logic is like way up there, isn't it? Compared to everybody else. Well, I don't have sex with kids. So well, yeah, it is. Here, and I don't agree with it either. I don't know why you lot are. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe you kill. I mean, you, you honestly are going to tell me that you reject you Jesus know? Christ, our Lord and Savior, for that man who slept with a nine year old girl. We follow Jesus, but we just don't, we don't follow Jesus. Jesus said, you don't believe, believe that, that I mean you will die in your sins, John 8 24. Listen, if we're going to talk about God, please explain to me why man is God and God is man and you kill your God and whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Well, first of all, I haven't killed my God. I was alive 2,000 years ago. Why are you picking on our prophet? Picking on our prophet? Oh my God. Oh, you your prophet. <laughs> what sickness do you have in your heart that you need to do that? Man? That you have to come to because the I, I, I respect, I respect the children, we are and I would not you? want to, uh, to have sex with children. Nor would I want to see maybe people have sex with children. Here, but maybe you're okay you with it, bro. Nobody's no, no, and that's a problem. Maybe you kill. Maybe you're right. You're, you're twisting things so yeah. much. That's right. You look so silly. I'm really not. You look so silly. You don't want to claim it's a I don't know. Read it somewhere. Maybe you have a So it's Sunnah.com, a Muslim site. Muslim site. Muslim site. This is how Muslim Hadith is, right? I just claimed. He's fixed on one thing. He's fixed on one thing. He's got nothing else to say. He's got nothing else to say. What else is there to say? I'm better than your prophet. Why don't you expand? Talk about something else. Do you want me to show where your prophet's an anti-Semite? You're talking about something that's disputed, my friend. I can show that your prophet's Satan. I can show pure Hadith showing that. Why are you going to... Find it in your phone, are you? <laughs> Why don't you find it in yeah, your phone? Yeah, because brain? I've written down a Sahih Hadith. Intelligent, right? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Can you recite Hadith right now? Recite Hadith right now and recite the number. Why do I need to do that? I don't need to prove my knowledge to you. I don't need to prove but my knowledge to you either. I'm your going knowledge. to your sources. You're here in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Show these people how intelligent you are. I'm going to your are. sources. Why are you going inside there? I'm obviously more intelligent than your prophet, let's be honest. Right. Obviously, it shows that, right? Yeah, it does. It shows that. Your hands are shaking, my friend. Or don't believe it wow, I didn't know that. God. I just heard it today. Focus on my hands, not on my, my, my logic, which is destroying your argument. Your logic okay. is just like, you know, one well done. Tunnel mind. Focus on my hands, keep focusing on my hands, keep focusing on my Keep focusing on my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Look who's talking. Do you know what's in my heart? Well, you don't look You got very... hatred. Like you got what? hatred in no, you know, Do you know what's you in my heart? What's wrong with you? you do you know what's in my heart? The Bible says that only God knows what's in the hearts of men. So you came to be God, you come in church. It's a reflection of what's inside Islam of is you. about love, it's not about hate. Right. But okay. you guys are all but about hate. But that's your hate. belief. Yeah. 
We love Again, Jesus, these right? are all ad hominem. I want everybody to notice these people, these people, these people are using personal attacks because they cannot defend their prophet. They've got nothing to defend him. So they're attacking me instead. Instead. This is why they come here and they say, you're shaking, Abibi. You are destroyed, boy. You know how Ajab, every time he comes here, does the same old routine. Good. He's alive. That's the difference between Satan you and human. Satan yeah, yeah, we believe Jesus is alive as well. You don't sister, sister, we believe Jesus, Jesus rose he again on the third day. He died for our sins and rose again on the third you day. He's alive. He died for our sins. That's mean you can be killer as Jesus much as you want. Jesus is alive. Because you already be for, uh, No, that doesn't mean we can kill him as much as you want. He died for you. He can be a killer. He can be a robber. You can do whatever you want because he can be died for your no, sins. No, exactly. Not really. Oh, it doesn't make sense. What, yeah? He's just trying to find something. You're no, no, I've got a lot of stuff to show you that you're talking to me. Hey, blow fire. Just like you, you're cracked as well. Oh, blow fire. Okay, yeah. do whatever you want. Listen to you that want. hell is full of women. Yeah, according to the, according to the hadith, hell is full of women. Ah. Hell is full of women. Hell is full of women. Yeah. Look, we're going to talk about hadith. What the hadith is? How's the hadith is? Explain the hadith. You're, so, what, 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 what hadith do you want me to go to? What's the hadith is? You just fixed on one issue. Find some more issues to talk about. Tell me what the hadith is. Like a broken And how we know it's right or wrong hadith? Because it's right here. It's all news now. Oh, why? It's so, no, 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 no. Before no, no, no. I go to hadith, I want, I want you to answer this. No, are you going to reject no, no. hadith? Because I don't want to go into it. The name of the book. Are you going to reject hadith? Don't, don't teach us about Arabic. Hadith, Sahih, Al-Bukhari. Sahih is the name grade. Of the book. Sahih is the, the grade. Name of the book. Let me teach you the hadith. Sahih is the grade. Listen, the person you, graded it was Dura Salam. What are you saying? Sahih is the name of the book. It's called Sahih al-Bukhari. I know it's called Sahih al-Bukhari no, no, because everything are, in there is authentic. No, because you said because the hadith is Sahih. Just one hadith from no, Sahih al-Bukhari. It's called the what? You know so much about Sahih. It's called Muslim. Oh, just one hadith from your mind, not from your phone. No, no, no. no I'll, I'll show you from here because I want you to have the sources. You just know I want you to have the sources. Sahih al-Bukhari. This is literally your prophet saying it's okay to have sex women without their consent. So let's read this. Sahih al-Bukhari. 6946 when when asked should the women be asked for their consent to marriage Muhammad said that their silence means their consent so what do you mean it doesn't start like that bring up the hadith then Habibi bring up the hadith bring up the hadith Bring, bring up, show you, show your point. Who's bring up the hadith. hadith. Show me on the phone. Show me on every Google. Show me on every Google. Show me. I've got a hadith right here. I've got a hadith right here. Sahih Bukhari six nine four six. Your silence means their silence means their consent. So I can literally go to any woman in this park. Their silence means their consent. I can marry them straight away because their silence means their consent. I just hate it. Who said the hadith? I'm repeating again. Listen. Typical mentality of a hater, right? Oh, yeah, I'm a hater. <laughs> no, it's at home. Take no, it's that at home. Take He's got no context. argument. He's lost. Take He's lost. it out He's of gone. context and just give it, right, you know, the meaning that you want. What's the real context? Silent. Hey, what's, the, what's the real context? Right? The context. What about yeah, the context? What about I'll, 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 I'll let him. I'll, I'll let him embarrass you. Though. No, you tell me the context. I'll let you embarrass you. What did he mean? No, 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 no. You're the wise guy, innit? You're the, you're the no, one you, saying you're, you're shaking, boy, and all that stuff. Go on, go on, talk to him. You quoted him. No, no, go on. So you tell me. You know the half that he said. What did he mean? Talk to the camera. Go on, go on, go on, show boy. Talk to the camera. I'm not here for the camera. I'm here for you, mate. No, you're not here for me. You're not here for me. He's here for the camera. You haven't brought any argument. She's brought more arguments to you. You She's explain? bought more arguments than you, you bought explain? nothing. You've just been saying a load of crap. The silent means consent. Like Where is no, the context? No, wait, wait. What's the context? The hadith, how you know, why are you it? telling us the meaning that your corrupt you mind is thinking inside your head? Okay? You're you a corrupt mind, I'll be Muhammad. But I'm not Muhammad. I don't have sex with nine year old girls and I don't murder innocent Jews. And I just read the hadith to you. You should have heard what I said. You didn't hear what I said. I don't care what you think hadith is. I've just read the hadith. Why don't you listen to what I'm saying rather than talk over me? I know why. Because you don't have an argument. How did marriages used to take place in the olden days? It's different from today. Families used to be there. Families used to give consent in those days. Your prophet was 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 very rich. Your prophet was very rich according to Sayyid Bukhari. Sayyid Bukhari, three one seven five, narrated Aisha. Narrated Aisha. Once the prophet was again, again, bewitched again, 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 again. so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which he had not done. Why is your prophet yes, bewitched? Uh, Why was your prophet bewitched by a demon? Hey, hey, I thought he's from God. Hello, hello. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't, he wasn't that's what Sayyid Bukhari says. No, he wasn't. Sayyid Bukhari, 317. I can't read it. Your hands are shaking. Go, go read it. Go read it. 3175. 3175. It's shaking. 3175. Your prophet was bewitched by Satan. Your prophet was bewitched by Satan. You have to mention who said the hadith. Who said? Which is the convenience of the prophet? You hear me? You know how the hadith starts? 
What's the point of no, arguing with him? No, he said no. He's he got corrupt mind. He's got no, it's not at home limbs. Yeah. They have yeah. lost the debate. Yeah. They're just talking to themselves. Yeah. Your prophet was bewitched. The guy was bewitched by a demon. You're following this guy as if he's a prophet, ain't Listen, But Jesus Christ wasn't bewitched. And I'm calling you to Jesus Christ. The son of God. The good Lord. I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. calling you to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Not to Muhammad or Peter, brother, but to Jesus Christ, brother, who is the Son of God, who said in John 8, 24, if you do not believe that I am here, you will die on your feet. Jesus Christ, who is the only salvation. Not Muhammad, not Allah, because Allah can't save you. He will save you, but hell. Your prophet doesn't say anything about Jesus, bro. Your prophet hates Jesus, bro. Your prophet who wrote that stinking book says that he is in God. Your prophet says he isn't even God. God. We love Jesus. Jesus is he God. Hates, he's a hater. You hate Jesus. He's got too many negative energy. What does Allah say about Jesus in the Quran? And and Christianity. What does Allah say about Jesus in the Quran? In John 9 13. Anyone who, 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 calls, who says that Allah is a son is a curse. That's what it says in John 9 30. What is that? So your God is a demon. Your God is Satan. Allah even says he could destroy Jesus if he wanted to. Maybe he is beyond everything. In chapter 5 of the Quran. Yes, he can. Okay, wait, wait. So he's, he's, he's beyond creation, correct? Okay. So, so wait, wait, wait. I'm going to use that logic against you. So in chapter 4, verse 5, 158, what does it say? I don't know, bro. I'm not oh, you don't know. You don't know. You can't. I know. I know. So it says that Jesus. So it says that Jesus was raised up to Allah. Yeah. Listen, bro. Where did Jesus go? Are you go? with him? Yeah? Sorry, are you with sorry. Him? Oh. Are you with Where him? did Jesus go? Yeah. Let me give him a new name. Shaky Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> Shaky. No, so you got no argument. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you so much. Hi, he's running. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, he's running. He's running. No, no, you've lost. You've lost. It's all right. It's all right. You can run. You can run. You can run. You can run. No, you, 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 you can run. You can run. You can run. No, you can run. No, you can't answer it. You can't answer it. You can't answer it. Chapter four, verse one hundred and fifty-eight of the Quran says that Jesus was raised up to Allah. That's what chapter four, verse one hundred and fifty-eight says. So Jesus was raised up beyond creation. What does that make Jesus? He to feel important, bro. No, no, you come, you come, you come, you come, come here, come here. Let's give him a clap. No, no, come here, come here. You are important. You are the man. Touch you are. Bro, bro, please don't touch me. Bro, please don't touch me. Okay, I'm not touching you, so don't touch me. No, 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 don't touch me. Okay, because I'm not touching you. I won't touch you. I'm not, I'm not your boyfriend. I'm not your boyfriend. I don't have any feelings for you, okay? I just told you I won't touch you. My point was, in chapter 4, verse 158 of the Quran, it says that Jesus was raised up to Allah. Where's Allah? He's in the, no, he's in his throne. He's got his throne, yeah, he was raised up to heaven. Is he above the arch? No, no, so he was raised up to heaven. Right, so no, it doesn't say heaven. It doesn't say, it says out to Allah. Yeah, Where's Allah? Where is Allah? No, no, so Allah is above everything. Yeah. Oh, so he's, he's above heaven, correct? He's above everything, yeah. He's but above he heaven. Raised. So, so Jesus was raised above heaven. No, no, he was so raised Allah? to heaven. He was raised to heaven. It says raised to Allah. Is Allah heaven? But what's the point? My point is, yeah. your Quran's clearly claiming that Jesus is God. No, you didn't say that. No, no. No. <laughs> because he's beyond creation. Yeah, but in your no. religion, you're not getting what I'm saying. You know, but Jesus, no, but bro, you're saying Jesus was taken up beyond creation. A created God. being was taken up beyond creation. Yeah, but Jesus, you say the Son of God, and he had to die for your sins. He, think about that first. You're saying about our religion. You're no offense. You know what I'm saying, are you? No, no, no. Chapter four, verse one hundred fifty-eight. Come on, use your brain, right? Jesus is taken up beyond creation. Show me. It's oh, I'll bring up. Shaky. I still don't understand your point. See you next time, right? Regardless, he was raised up. Do you, do you address your mother like that? Do you address your mother like that? You know his mother, obviously, but no, no, you're no, both no, doing the same thing. I'll do a better job than his mother because no, no, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, have my no, child looking ugly like that. I understand your point. He was raised up in heaven. Okay, cool. You're shaky. Okay. Yeah, but bro, your point doesn't. It's not valid. Yeah, Imagine not having an argument and having to just keep talking. But I thought he's going. I thought he's going. Jesus, Jesus never died. He was taken to heaven alive. Got, Jesus did die on no, the cross he and he was died. risen on the third day. No, you you, you liar. So Jesus is dead, supposed yeah? to have said, why I have you I'm going to 158. No, 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 no. We're not changing the subject. I'm going to chapter go, 4, go, 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 158. Go, go, go. After you've done that, why have you forsaken me? Apparently Jesus said that on the cross. Is that true? Yeah, he was quoting Psalm 22. Okay, so why is that? Because I don't understand that. Okay, so he's, if he's God, has God forsaken himself? No, no, God hasn't forsaken him. So he's why quoting did, Psalm why did 22. He say that on the cross? He's I quoting Psalm 22 to, pr to prove why the point. Why did he say that on the cross? He quotes Psalm 20, 22 he to prove the up point. Bro, you're right. You're being like, oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? He's quoting me? Psalm 22 to but prove the point. But why was he quoting it? He's quoting it to prove a point. One minute. What was the point? 
to the court. Well, I'm, I'm going to that first, so you need to be yeah. quiet for a minute. Yeah, like, at least have respect. Have two minutes, at least show that Muslim respect minutes. that you lot have. No, like, that, that kind been, of Islamic. You, you, you know that, you know that Islamic respect that Muslims there, have with the. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as I'm following your example, mate, it's on the video as evidence there as well. The problem is you're not you're not showing the beauty of Jesus anyway. It's like I want to be convinced by you almost, but your passion and your fight is just to win a point. At least show the beauty of Jesus in your message outwardly, are you done? so we can see it. No, but are you done? I'm not done. No, 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 are you done? I, 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 I've got a thirst to be convinced, brother. No, my heart's open, and I want to be convinced. Yeah, that's called cool tequila. I know, I know what that's about. Yeah, and I know that's Satan's in your heart. Why are you angry, brother? You're, you're, you're on edge. Okay, so what it says, yeah. but Allah. So this is chapter four, verse 158 of the Quran. Yeah. Notice how I'm, I'm just ignoring the instructions because they, we don't need to listen to that. That's just stupid. But Allah took him up unto Himself. Allah was ever mighty and wise. This is talking about Isa Ibn Maryam. Yeah, to where Allah is. Yes, to where Allah is. Where's Allah, bro? He's above the heavens, no. He's above the heavens, ah, right. You know. So he's beyond creation, correct? Yeah. No, no. He's, so he took a creation, he took creation, yeah. Jesus, yeah. beyond creation. So, what does that mean then? So, so what does it mean? It means that Jesus, mean, so no, Jesus it. is God. It doesn't mean that though. Yes, it does. Oh, that, because Jesus is beyond God, creation. No, if God, so God can take anyone your, your God, mean, Your God is saying nobody's from so creation. God Nothing's from creation. Does that mean your God? Hold on. No, your God is claiming that no, nothing. Bro, your God is claiming there's nothing in the no, created no, no. order like him, including heaven. No, so if, he if God so if there's nothing up, in the created order, including heaven, like him, you, use right? your no. brain. Use your brain. If I there's mean, nothing in the created order like him, how could he take a created being up to his up to his throne? Bro, you're a bit agile. Calm down, innit? Like relax. Like you're shaking yourself. I haven't got an argument again. I've already lost. So what's your point? So you're saying that Jesus is God, yeah? Yeah, I'm saying that Jesus is God. So do you believe that? Do you believe to Islam, he didn't die? According to Islam, he didn't die. He didn't die. Yeah, he didn't die. And that's what I'm saying. Jesus is God according to the Quran as well because he was taken up above the earth. That's what it's saying. Do you believe that? He was taken up beyond the throne of Allah. Only Allah exists beyond the created order. Nothing created can exist where the created is. Otherwise, we have a contradiction. So is there then two gods? So if he took Jesus... In the Quran, yeah. No, it's not in the Quran. In the Quran, yeah. You have two gods. Yeah, but the Trinity doesn't make sense. You do. do you, you believe the Trinity, right? You believe the Trinity. <laughs> so God had to I know what you believe, but yeah, that's irrelevant. So the Quran saying that you do. The Quran saying you do. Okay, so chapter 19, verse 22 of the Quran. Allah's spirit comes down the form of man. Say, why is he God? Tell him how Jesus creates just like Allah in the Quran. No, no, Yeah, yeah. Jesus creates just like Allah in the Quran. You believe Jesus. Have you ever read that verse? So Jesus, yeah. It's uh, so he was a prophet, so we believe that he uh, he could do miracles, right? Yeah. So he was able to cure the blind by the will of God, right? Not because he's God, yeah. That's the difference between yeah. you and us, yeah. No, no, it doesn't say by the will of God. It doesn't say by the will of God. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say by the will of God. What it says show in that me, passage, me. I have to guess up. What it says in that passage show me, show me. is. And of course. Listen, your argument ain't gonna make sense. Uh, oh, I know. In fact, you show me. You know what? Because you made the argument. You show me. You made the argument. I that doesn't say that. I know. No, 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 you don't know. You don't believe me. That's what, 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 what I'm saying is the yeah. verse actually says that okay, he, you know he right, rude him to that, that, that um, dove himself. Show me. So I'll show you. It's gone. Yeah, because Jesus, look. There's no point, bro, look. You if you don't, okay. Listen, if you don't want to talk him, go away. I don't no, have to stand here talking. Calm, calm. Right, yeah, but here's the thing. You keep you talking over him. You lost, you lost You're talking over him. Bro. You've already lost the argument. I've already won the argument. Yeah, I'm yeah, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already a Christian. I've already won. Bro. Like, won I'm not, I'm not here to win anything. Right, cool, cool. I'm not here to win anything, but I've already, because I've already won. I'm already a Christian. So, yeah, what I'm saying is that verse came to you earlier. I said, at least portray Jesus in a, in a light where yeah, you you're, you're displaying his love, his good characteristics. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Wait, when, when, when Muslims come wait, 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 wait. we give dawah. The arms you understand? We give dawah. What I'm what saying you're is doing this. No, no, no. Is, Muslims don't give dawah. Yeah, yeah. And you want they to assassinate the character of people. They continuously assault Christians. They continuously insult Christians. They continuously insult Christians. You come with an they agenda. They continuously insult a brother asks you a question. That's what you do. You insult Jesus. You claim he wasn't God. All the time. Every time I'm here, that's all you do. It doesn't make sense. What's your name? Your name? What's my name? Yeah, what's your name, bro? It's Captain. Just call me Captain. Captain. Alright, Captain. Are oh, you right, bro? It's calm down. We're not here to like. Exactly. No, no, no but first of all, we're signing in front of the camera. Just move back. It's a calm, bit. like we know. We can talk. Because obviously, my man's here. It's all good, yeah. Yeah. But as, as I was saying, that verse is clearly saying that Jesus was the one who fashioned that bird into, into a full being, and also the Quran says that Allah made um, made Adam out of clay, and He okay. breathed into him the life form spirit. Okay. So right. The, yeah. So Jesus does what Allah does. No, no, Jesus, Jesus did miracles because God allowed him. He, he needs God's permission. Yeah? Right, right. right. Do the so let, let, let me give you that example what you're saying. You don't right? understand. You don't I understand. need some example. Say I'm a manager, right? And I have the ability to, to have a shovel. I, I've got arms, right? I have the ability to dig up snow, for okay. example. Okay. Yeah? I have the ability. Somebody, somebody says to me, look, you have to do this, right? Okay. Are they giving me the ability 
or are they or, or are they telling me to do that thing which all the other villages do? No, no. So, for example, that's a crap example, okay? It isn't a crap no, example. No, You're it's, not it's listening to what I'm saying. No, no, no. You're not hearing what I'm saying. No, no. Go on, go on. I'm, I'm making the key distinction. There's okay. a difference between giving somebody the ability to do something okay. and them already having the ability to do no. something that's and being told to do it. Yeah, no. And that's what your Quran says. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it so I'll, I'll get that first. So. Get out, get out. You're kind of lost, bro. You're no. not going to lie. It's hard to teach you something because you're very I lost. I didn't dare. I, mean, yeah, no. No. I appreciate the conversation, uh, Captain, right? Yeah, but. No, it's just boring hearing the same. You're kind of lost. No, 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 you're you're dumb. You're shaking. You lot don't have an argument. No, no, right. but you're on You lot do not have an argument. Bring an argument. Stop insulting. No, no, no. Because you're just embarrassing yourself on camera. It's you're just showing yourself up. No, no, you're I'm showing you don't have an argument. No, no. Because the whole time I've brought argument after argument, argument after argument, and you've not shown me anything that goes against what I'm saying. Come on, man. Yeah, mate. Nobody's listening to you. But I'm asking you. I don't care what you are. I want to be Christian. Go talk to somebody else then. We're not even talking about Trinity. We're done talking to him. I was talking to you about the arse in the phone about that. You're talking about something else. I won't even talk to you. I don't even know what you're talking about. So if you want to go somewhere else, you can. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm a joke. I'm like a prophet. This is why. This is why I don't have sex with nine-year-old girls because I'm like a prophet. What do you mean my only argument? Go up. I'm not the one who has sex with nine-year-old girls. All right, bruh, pop. Yeah. As we can see, the embarrassing assertions of Muslims again continuously showing that their religion is from Satan. Over the course of debate, they've not been able to prove their beliefs or to show effectively why their beliefs are true. For example, as you've seen, they continuously insult and ridicule, but they have no arguments. I've shown them that their own, their own God, their own God Allah, has taken Jesus up to his throne. I've shown them that their own prophet is a paedophile and they've, as you've seen, they've accepted that this guy was perfect even though he's had sex with a nine-year-old girl. What more is there to say? Muslims leave Islam. Come to Jesus Christ, the way, the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Amen. 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 Amen.